the Rams general manager coming to Atlanta for the Super Bowl is really kind of a, a reunion, kind of a homecoming. For years, Les Snead worked in the front office for the Falcons. Well, this morning, we're getting some exclusive insight into the man known as the brains behind the L.A. Rams. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm is here. And Rebecca, you actually have a very personal, a very long <laughs> uh, uh, history with uh, the Rams general manager. Yeah, we've known each other since we were in middle school. But you know what? We hadn't seen each other in many years. We caught up this week and we had a fun little trip down memory lane. A long time. It really has. Les Sneed, the general manager for the Los Angeles Rams, has deep roots here in the heart of the South. I mean, this is incredible. You are here at the Super Bowl. Well, it's if you're ever if you're in the NFL, this is the pinnacle. Les and I went to high school together in Eufaula, Alabama, about two and a half hours from Atlanta. In 1989, I was a junior, a cheerleader with big hair. Les was a senior. Hey, there you are. There you go, blonde hair. A captain of the football team, named All-State Offensive Guard. Of course, he prefers to let others get the glory. I want to bring up Fred Smith, right? He might have yes. been the... If we won any games, it's because of Fred Smith. Les admits he was obsessed with football as a kid. Each year during the NFL draft, he would stay home. Had to skip school a little bit. In those days, no iPhones or anything like that. So any of the friends that wanted to know who their teams were picking, they'd get on the school payphone and call me on the little, you know, what do you call it, phone? Where the you, little rotary yeah, phone. Yeah, rotary phone. <laughs> After playing football at Auburn University and then working in the team's office, Sneed went to work for the Jacksonville Jaguars and then the Atlanta Falcons, where he spent 15 years, eventually as director of player personnel. Big part of me being here is when Thomas Dimitrov uh, came in as GM, hired Mike Smith. We drafted Matt Ryan. The uh, Falcons had never had back-to-back -back winning seasons, and I think we had five straight winning seasons. In 2012, he was hired by the Rams as general manager. Since then, Sneed has assembled an incredible team. Now under the direction of the young head coach he hired, Atlanta native Sean McVay. We joked that because we grew up in the South, you know, we're basically... Uh, pretty much idiots to everything other than football. Sneed never has been one to try to take credit for his successes, yeah, instead pointing to the teachers and coaches who helped mold him along the way. Coach Woodham's unbelievable. Coach Woodham. Still, still keep up with, he texts me after every game. Does he really? No doubt. Before we wrapped up our little reunion, I pointed out something I noticed in our yearbook. I'm like, look at that, Les Sneed. Weightlifting state champion. So I go to the weightlifting page. Right. You're not in the picture. Wow. Was wow. it draft day? So yeah, maybe we're skipping school. <laughs> yeah, it's probably safe to say his teachers can forgive him now. We're going to call it a little career training exercise. You'd better believe our little town of 13,000 has a lot of Rams fans now pulling for its GM, Les Need. Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.